the opening of a fries in downtown Phoenix is about much more than a grocery store. It's about the continued rebirth of downtown. Phoenix was the fastest growing city in America in 2018, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. City officials point to a few keys to this renaissance. Arizona State opened a downtown campus, including the Cronkite School of Journalism, in 2008, bringing an influx of students. The development of the light rail along Central Avenue is another factor, making it easier to get to and from the downtown core. Jobs drive growth, and the city officials say opening of the Phoenix Biomedical Center brought high-skill, high-wage jobs and new residents to the area. To serve the residents, new restaurants and shops followed, like those at the Arizona Center, which received a major upgrade in 2015. Professional sports have also played their part, with the Diamondbacks at Chase Field and the Suns at Talking Stick Arena, along with major concerts at these venues. It all adds up to a newly vibrant downtown core that has been missing one thing until now, a grocery store. Ellie Nakamoto White is live at the New Fries downtown. Ellie. Thanks, guys. This new 67,000 square foot building will be fulfilling a big need for those in the Phoenix area. Those who came earlier say this should be something that should have happened years ago. Well, um, because I am in a wheelchair, it's just very, very hard and difficult to get groceries back from a long distance. For shoppers like Sarah Hawk Seltzer, the opening of this Fry's supermarket in downtown Phoenix means more than just a new grocery store. It means basic necessities will be a little bit closer to home. Oh, I had to go a long ways. We're on the other side of town, and it was very, very difficult to bring all that stuff back on my wheelchair. Until now, the closest grocery store was miles away. With this new addition, downtown Phoenix will no longer be known as a food desert. Food deserts are areas that um, don't have accessible foods within, let's say, 20 minutes of, of walking to a place or within a certain radius around them. It provides residents here who are in downtown the ability to get what they need right where they need it. Fry's manager Chris Berryman says he is excited to make life a bit easier for downtown Phoenix residents and the workers. So the people that don't want to drive, use light rail, we're going to be very convenient for that. During today's opening, thousands of shoppers crowded the store. It's been chaotic. Absolutely chaotic. But despite the throngs of people, it's clear many have been waiting for this day for far too long. I think it is so wonderful because there was no other grocery store around here. A lot of people are on government, you know, and um, I am. And so I've been shopping at CVS and man, it just drained me. I think it's going to be helpful for everybody. In addition, in addition to today's opening, Fry's has announced it's donating $40,000 to two local charities that fight food insecurity across the state. Live in downtown Phoenix, Ellie Nakamoto-White, Cronkite News.